What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today it is time for a convertible. It is beautiful spring weather out. Oh, finally. We've had such bad weather recently and this is very, very welcome. So today I thought we'd take a convertible. This is Peter's car and you might remember around three months ago I made a video about the last great AMG C63S. This was a coupe and as I said back then, Peter buys cars like he buys bread at the supermarket. He switches so often. Actually, he's had this car for like three or four months and he's already looking at Ferrari 458s. So yeah, he, is, <laughs> he switches cars regularly. And we thought, well, we have to jump on this AMG GTC Roadster he bought in solar beam yellow before he sells it again because my god this is the coolest amg gt i have ever seen this color this spec is just delicious so today i'm going to review it i know that we have done a gtc roadster like six months ago but this has got decat downpipes it sounds amazing and it is solar beam yellow so i thought reasons enough to take it once again so today I'm going to show you around it. We're just going to walk around it and talk a bit about the GTC in general and about the spec. And then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn Blast. Now, as you can see, Horsey McHorseface is back as well. Having a good time eating some grass. Lovely to have him back too. And well, what a car he has to look at today. My God, this, this color, this solar beam yellow works so well on an AMG GT. I absolutely love this. So, of course, the GTC and the GTR were the first two to receive the Panamericana grille. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pillars, basically, of the grille. Make it look super aggressive and very, very handsome indeed. Angry looking front lights, nice big air intakes right there uh, the gtc gets a lot of stuff from the gtr actually a couple of things that make it really really good you get the rear wheel steering of a gtr and the rear limited slip diff electronically operated basically mechanical limited slip diff from the gtr it's also 57 millimeters wider than a regular gt and you've got this still don't know what it is but this looks it, it just makes the car so much beefier and angrier from the rear, especially with those two little, that's fake actually, but. Oh, is, is that open? Ah, I think that's open. So little fence for the wheel well. Okay, let me just put my Inspector Max hat on. Because what I believe AMG did is put a grate in there and then nothing behind it to make you believe that it's open, that it's actually doing something. And then it's just closed behind that. Very clever AMG, but I'm on to you. Because in the wheel well, we've got a lot of insulation, but there's no air going through this. Busted, busted. So I'm guessing this is fake too. It does look very cool. Uh, GTC badge, but guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think of this car in solar beam yellow? How awesome. Okay, back to the front. We've got bigger wheels as well for the GTC. Wider arches, more space for bigger wheels. 19 inch at the rear, 20 inch at, that's the front. 19 inch at the front, 20 inch at the rear, I think. Pilot Super Sports as well. Yeah, 20 inch, 305 section tire at the rear. Quite a big tire, 265 at the front. AMG carbon ceramic brakes with the gold calipers. Very, very good brakes. And the fake center lock wheels, they do look awesome. And then of course it's a convertible so you can enjoy that exhaust. That sounds awesome. This of course is a pre-OPF car. And then Peter has installed decat down pipes to make it even louder and boy does it work 
So let's take a look at the engine, the four liter V8 by turbo. Oh, it's not a BMW. There it is, all the way back there. This is not the engine. That is, you can see it's behind the front wheels entirely. 557 horsepower, 680 newton meters of torque, 0 to 100, 3.7 seconds, and top speed 316 kilometers an hour. Or did I mention that already? 316, 316. But look at how long this bonnet is and how little there actually is. I mean, you've got big air intakes there, and I don't know what's, been, what's under there, but I mean, you've got a lot of space before the engine begins. And that is one of the, the secrets, or well, it's not a secret, but one of the many magnificent things about the GTC or the AMG GT in general, is that you've got that long bonnet in front of you and you sit just in front of those rear wheels. And the, the driving feel because of that is just magnificent. It feels like you're set right on the rear axle and yeah it's just a very cool driving experience absolutely love it so interior spec we've got some carbon here and the old center console as i've said many times in my reviews i prefer this setup with real buttons it just just looks cooler and it feels better than the facelift versions which have touch sensitive buttons i like this better you also get this Alcantara steering wheel in the GTC. I'm not going to rev it because Horsey McHorseface has had some trouble with his ears in recent years. Might or might not have something to do with us revving cars here, so. No, I'm kidding. I would never do anything to hurt Horsey McHorseface. So I'll rev it uh, in the tunnel later on. We're going to pull up those windows very cool yellow seat belts as well to finish off the spec now i do have to say that we can't turn off traction control in this car uh, so that means that we don't have launch control and we can't do slides uh, because apparently i think this was a demo car before peter bought it and i think the dealership has disabled disabling the traction control so no one crashes it on a test drive so yeah that's too bad but anyway we're going to enjoy it oh man okay so let's stop it here so we can do some sound just wait for that bicycle gentleman to clear the tunnel A good sound I mean I know I said that the the stock GTC sounds amazing in my review and that is an OPF car by the way so that that is extra impressive but holy moly install some Dika <laughs> downpipes on your GTC oh and especially the Roadster because with those crisp super quick shifts of that seven speed gearbox oh with a little bang on the shift <laughs> oh man that's freaking porn <laughs> and you just have that that splash of yellow in your view all the time. That, that long bonnet is just amazing in yellow. Absolutely love it. Peter, I'm not sure you should sell this car because this spec is amazing and I'm doubting if you're going to find a, a, a spec 458 that is as special as this. I don't need an excuse to drive a GTC, even though I've done one six months ago, but 
Oh my god, this car is amazing. I'm going to drive every single one I can, especially when they sound as good as this one. Oh, that power delivery is nice. That guy was freaking 85 and I got a thumbs up. <laughs> what an awesome guy. Ah, he drove a Mercedes as well, of course, so that's probably it. <laughs> oh. Peter. <laughs> cool car. Holy moly. Yeah, so this is ESP Sport Mode. It is super safe. It really doesn't allow for much uh, slip. Ah, we have to put the roof up. We can do that up to 50 kilometers an hour. There's no one behind me. Where's the freaking button? There it is. Eleven seconds. Quite a quick convertible roof. Okie doke, so let's take it to the Autobahn. It has been quite busy today. So I'm not sure if we can do anything fun, but we will see. acceleration is so nice uh, there is a very bad reflection on the speedo but can't really do anything about that right now but those shifts are so quick brakes as well yeah this is an amazing car as a sports car to sort of semi daily this is incredible because it is so comfortable and just works as a car really well and then when you turn everything up you've got this amazingly loud and aggressive v8 supercar that performs really well uh, we did 7.13 with this one and we did 7.05 with the facelifted version. So they are very quick cars. And these AMG GTs, they, they perform well for their power too. I mean, the, the AMG GTR Pro was incredible. This engine just works so well in these cars. But I do think that a GTR is a bit much to drive, you know, often to drive every day. I mean, if you take it to the track, of course, buy a GTR or a GTR Pro, but I think the GTC is actually probably the one to have from the lineup. It's got everything. It's got those GTR goodies. This color is that everyone will see you coming. But you can also feel that this car has not been made for top speed runs. It starts to struggle at higher speeds and to get near to that 360 top speed, you need a hell of a lot of space. I think that was 305 and that was a long time full throttle, a long time. The thing that these cars excel at is just those accelerations going through those gears quickly 
and just driving a beautiful B road because the handling is absolutely mega. Shall we do a roof down run on the way back? Is that something you guys are interested in? Let's do it. Let's see how fast we can go until it's just not doable anymore. Oh man, I love this car. I really do. Okay, so let's open that roof. At least you've got that sound. I think until like 160 probably, you should be able to hear that V8, that exhaust. We'll see, we'll see. And of course, we've got the little overpass here. Oh <laughs> yeah. So this is actually not bad. So I think up until like 2.30, you guys should be able to hear me. Now it's getting a bit loud. But that is not bad. Oh, that is my kind of Thursday afternoon. Ha, oh, that, what an amazing car, Peter. I know you love the C63, but this is a lot more exciting and it drives so much better. Thank you so much for taking it to us again. Uh, to you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.